Hey there, welcome to my curls. Y'all, this is going to be such an exciting video. I am doing something brand new and I'm doing something that you all asked me for. I put out a video back in January asking what content do you all want to see from me? One of my viewers, her name is Rosie, said that she wanted to see an empties video. And I said to her, what are you talking about? An empties video? And she went on to explain that people do videos showing all of the empty bottles and things that they've gone through during a previous certain period. I had never heard of this, y'all, but it sounded like so much fun. So I went to Walmart and I bought a cute little basket and I've had it in my bathroom underneath my sink and Randy and I have been collecting all of our empty bottles and so I'm going to share that with you today. It has been, let's see, this is April, so it's been four months. I've been working on this basket for four months. I think I bought too big of a basket. I did not know it was going to take that long to fill up this basket with all of our empty bottles. And I've kind of not really been paying attention to it. And when I opened up the bathroom cabinet today, I saw that the basket was completely overflowing with stuff. So I get to do the video. Today is my first empties video. So here we go. So welcome to my curls, y'all. This is my bathroom. Y'all have seen it many times before. And I thought this was the best place to do the empties video because pretty much everything in my basket came from the bathroom. Randy and I have been collecting empty bottles and empty tubes and all kinds of stuff since like late January and this is now mid-April. I had no idea it was going to take this long to fill up this basket, but we're here. My basket was overflowing. It would have actually, some of the stuff wouldn't even fit. It had fallen out into the like underneath of my sink area. And so I have not taken this basket out since January to look at what was inside. So this is really actually exciting for me too because I don't know what's in there. So let's get started. These are all of my empty bottles and empty tubes and empty things from the past three, I guess it's really three months, mid-January, mid-April, three months. I guess the best thing to do is to show you my bottles, tell you why I use this product, why I love it, will I buy it again, or will I not buy it again? So that's kind of how I'm going to run this video. But here we go. Here are my empties. First thing is my TGI Catwalk Curls Rock Amplifier. You all know I use this on my hair. This is my number one product that I put in my curly hair. And I buy this like three and four bottles at a time because this is the absolute most important thing in my hair. And I can't believe there's only one bottle in my empties because I use the heck out of this stuff. I will absolutely continue using my Curls Rock Amplifier. I've been using this for years and it really is the best curly hair product for me. OcuSoft Lid Scrub. Randy uses this in the shower, and I've actually used it too. Randy has really bad seasonal allergies. In the spring and the fall, he has horrible allergies, and Brecken does too. I don't have allergies, but Randy's optometrist forever ago, like years ago, told him he needed to use this in the shower to clean his eyes because in the spring, when I guess the pollen is out or things are blooming, his eyes would always itch and water from the allergies. So he washes his eyes with this every morning and I've actually done it too. Like if my eyes are bothering me or just I feel like something's in them or I just really want to rub and clean my eyes in the shower, I will use this. So we go through this quite often and it comes out, like if there's a little bit in here, it comes out like a foam like that and then you just rub your eyes in the shower. But it's really good stuff, and we there. there's nowhere locally here that sells this. We order it on Amazon, and he's been using this for years and years. So this is something that we will continue to keep using. Oh, and another awesome tip about this stuff. When we go on vacation, if we go to the beach, we definitely take this with us because I always feel like 
like the sunscreen and the sand and the salt air that kind of gets on my face when we're out at the beach all day long. I just want to rub all of that off of my face when I get in the shower. And the lid scrub is really good to help me get my eyes clean and just to get that salt and sand and stuff off my face. So this is really good stuff. Okay, <laughs> this is fun. What's next? This just died on me this morning and I'm so upset because I didn't realize that this bottle was so empty because it sounds like there's a little bit in there, but it is not coming out. This is my hairspray and Pantene two dots right here. This is the lightest hold hairspray that I've ever been able to find that I like. I have to order it. I can't find it here. I can find this Pantene, but but it, I can find four dot or five dot, and that's too heavy, like too much for my hair. And so this little two dot is just super light. Like today, I didn't wash my hair, but this kept falling in my face. So I just I just did a little spritz of this, and it is so so light, but it does the job. And so, yeah, I'm gonna have to get on Amazon and order some of this today because I'm out. But this is a definite buy again. I love this hairspray. Oh, okay. Well, and clearly, so look at all these. Dub soap. This is the soap we use in our shower. Brecken uses it too. Randy and I use it. This is just what we've always used is Dove. I use a loofah in my shower. I don't use a washcloth, and I just love the Dove. I love the way it smells. I love that it's moisturizing. I don't feel like I have a film on my skin when I get out of the shower, which I do with a lot of cleansing soaps. And so we just love the Dove, and that's what we use. Love my Dove. Okay, shaving cream. Randy and I use the same shaving cream. Randy really doesn't shave often. If you all watched my video, um, I'll link it right up here, but it was where you got to meet Randy, and he did No Shave November, and he grew a gray beard. And so he really only shaves every once or two, not even once, like every two to three weeks. Nah, we'll call it two weeks. He really only shaves about every two weeks, and he uses, actually it's behind me, he uses this Con Air stubble trimmer that I showed you all in that video about him. But he puts this on his neck and I shave his neck for him. I don't even know if he uses that with the stubble trimmer. I don't know. But when I shave my legs and under my arms, I just use this because it's fine. I don't see any reason to buy the smelly woman's brand of shaving cream. This just works fine for me. So that's what we use. Ooh, I, I don't even, okay. This is Randy's vitamin. He's constantly changing his vitamins. I'm not a vitamin taker. And actually, since I'm standing here, the only vitamin I take is vitamin E because I have very fibrous, fibrous breast. It runs in my family. My mother, my sister, and I all have fibrous breast. That's hard to say. And so years and years ago, my gynecologist told me to take vitamin E, that it helps to keep those fibers soft. I don't know. That's what you say, but it, it just helps with it. And so I've been taking vitamin E for a lot of years, but this bottle's not empty, so it's not in my empties, but I wanted to share that. But this is Randy's vitamin. So Randy has heartburn, really bad heartburn. And months ago, he heard about this and he ordered it from Amazon and he's been taking it ever since. I know this is probably, the dogs are gonna bark. This is probably his, <sighs> this is probably his fourth bottle, I'm guessing of this. And normally he'll try one and not order it again. So he really does like this. And it's apple cider vinegar gummies. And y'all, when he chews this thing in the morning, it smells like a green apple candy. So I can always tell, he get he eats it first thing out of bed too. He chews this gummy, like I don't know how he does that as soon as he gets out of bed, 
but there's 60 gummies in this bottle and he he really likes this he swears it helps him it makes him feel better it helps him his him digest his food better he just thinks this is really great stuff so it's goalie nutrition apple cider vinegar gummies the next thing ooh, is another one of my hair products it is bounce curl light cream gel and again if this is what i use in my hair if you all need to back up don't i <laughs> this is what i use in my hair if you all watch any of the videos about how i style my hair or products i use this is one of my main products and i only put three things in my hair y'all the first one was this and the second one is this and i do have to get this from from Amazon it's not sold anywhere locally but this is really good stuff I started using it about a year and a half or two years ago baby um, and so I do go through it pretty quickly so this is empty and I've got another one in my closet ready to go okay this stays in our shower st. Ives blackhead clearing green tea and bamboo scrub Randy started this and now I use it and I love it and Brecken actually uses it too. It is just, it's inexpensive. I find it at Walmart um, and it, it just makes me feel good. I don't put soap on my face in the shower. The only time I actually put soap on my face or any kind of cleanser is at night when I'm washing my face to take my makeup off. But when I'm in the shower, you know, and you just get your face wet, I want something to just wake me up to rejuvenate my face, but I don't want to cleanse my face because I don't want to dry my skin out. And this really does it for me. Let me see if there's any in here. Oh, it's green. Can you see it? Oh, so can you see that? It's like, you see it? It's got like these little beads is not the right word seeds maybe little just teeny 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 little seed filling things and it just feels good on my face now blackhead clearing I don't know I don't really have blackheads I just like the way that it feels on my face I feel like it just kind of wakes up my skin every morning and it's kind of cool feeling so i just rub it on my face and give it a good shush and just rinse it off and it just makes me feel good in the shower randy does the same thing and like i said so does brecken so the saint ives blackhead clearing green tea and bamboo scrub love it this is a definite keeper Okay, so what I'm learning is that the majority of the stuff in the basket is Randy's. He goes through a lot of stuff, apparently. <laughs> but this is his shampoo. It is Tea Tree Mint Shampoo by OGX. This stuff, I have used it before, like in a pinch, or if we were out of town and I didn't take my shampoo for whatever reason, and it truly is mint like it makes your scalp tingle and it's kind of cool um and that is why randy really loves this stuff but he swears by this shampoo but of course he's a guy he's he just you know really short hair but this is what he likes he loves the mint he loves the tingly and so this is his shampoo then we get to my shampoo i use look at here <laughs> these are both conditioners but I use Matrix Total Results Mega Sleek Shampoo and Conditioner. And I go through conditioner way faster than I go through shampoo. Like these are both conditioners that are empty and there is not an empty shampoo in here. When I shampoo my hair, I only use like a little dab, but I use a handful of the Mega Sleek Total Results. This is the best shampoo for me and my hair type and I love it. Flexitol Heal Balm. So my feet, or my, it's really my heels. My heels get so dry. Like my heels will crack and sometimes they will bleed and it hurts 
like no other. It seriously hurts. And it's probably been five or more years ago. My heels were cracked to the point that there were some days that I thought that I just could not even walk around or put on shoes because my heels were so bad. I had tried everything. I even went to the dermatologist to talk about my feet. Like, why was this happening? My mom's heels are the same and my sister's sort of, but not as bad. The dermatologist just said, basically, it's dry skin, and he had no suggestion. Well, that cannot be true. There, there is no reason that my heels should be dry and cracked. And if I was a brave woman, I would show you my heels. Today, they're so much better. But, I, okay, I'll do it. I'll get a video of my heels. I'll show you. But anyway, I just went to the grocery, and I started just trying everything on the shelves to see what would work nothing worked. All of the products that claimed to be like heel or feet related, they were no different than hand lotion. They did not work for me until I picked up this stuff. I, I don't know what it is that makes this different, but this did it for me. The directions say apply twice daily. And when I first got this, I did what the direction said. For about two months, I applied this daily. And when I realized that my feet were getting better and I started seeing results, y'all, this is why. Now, the ticket is when I get out of the shower and my feet are moist, like not wet, but just moist, I put this on my feet. And let me, hold on. Let me get out my new bottle so I can show you. I, I put about that much per foot. And I'm only doing my heels. That's what's really the bad part for me. And y'all, it kind of is a little lotion-y, medicine-y, stinky sort of. I, don't know. I mean, it doesn't smell great, but it really, really works. It is so thick thick that after um, after I rub it on my heels, I have to wash my hands with soap to get it off of my fingers. But this stuff has made a dramatic difference in my heels. My heels no longer get cracked. They don't bleed, but I have to stay on it. I really only use this stuff now once a day because I've been using it for a lot of years. And so when I first started it, it really did its job. It got rid of the cracks, it made my heels softer, so now I only use it once a day. I do it as soon as I get out of the shower. But if I ever don't use this for like a week, say I go on vacation or I go out of town and I don't take this with me, I will start to see my heels just slightly getting worse and worse. So this always goes with me. This has just become part of my daily routine. It's just what I have to do to keep my heels soft. Like I, I, I wouldn't call I wouldn't I wouldn't call my heels 100% fantastic. But compared to what they were before I started this, they are really, 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 really better. Like 80% drastically better. So this is a lifesaver. It's very inexpensive and it takes a very long time for me to get through a tube because like I said, I only use just that one little pinch on my feet. And, and one thing to note, if you go to your grocery store, whoops, or a pharmacy to look for this, this is in a box. So, and the box does tend to look a little bit different than the tube. And I wish I had a picture of it, but I don't. Um, but just keep the lookout for this name, Flexitol Heal Balm, because it is going to be in a box with the tube inside. We're running out of room. Okay, now I'm getting down to the little stuff in the bottom. I use Blink Tears every morning and every night. I have dry eyes. It was starting to interfere with my vision, and I always just felt like my eyes were grainy, like I just wanted to blink them or, or rub them to just get the grain out, if that makes sense. And so I talked to my optometrist about it, and she suggested that I, that I try this. She gave me um, a couple samples of this, and I'm going to say I 
I found one that I actually like better. It's not empty, but I'll show it to you. I prefer, good thing I'm in the bathroom doing this, Refresh Tears. It's lubricating eye drops. The blink was good, but I like this better. Because they're lubricating, both of them have just a little, just so slightly of like a oiliness to them that makes them stay in your eyes. This one tend to disappear a lot faster. It just didn't seem as concentrated, but this one has staying power. And like I said, after I get out of the shower in the morning, this is just part of my routine. I put in my eye drops, I put on my lotion, I go about my, my day. And then at night, after I wash my face, I do eye drops. We sleep with the ceiling fan going in our bedroom and the optometrist says, that that is really bad for my eyes. It tends to dry my eyes out even though they're shut at night, but I can't help it. I like my ceiling fan, I like the fan moving, I like cold air when I'm sleeping. And so this has really done wonders for the way my eyes feel and my eyesight, honestly. So this is the one that's empty and it's still good. I just prefer the refresh. Ooh, now we're getting into makeup-y stuff. So Lorac behind, can you see that? Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. Um, I talked about this in my video, Makeup for Gray Hair, which I'll link right up there if you wanna see that. But I love this eyeshadow primer. I've tried lots of brands that are like wet or kind of oily feeling or just kind of disappear when you put them on. This one is sort of thick, but it stays. It makes my eyeshadow adhere to my eyes and stay there all day long. I think this stuff is great. And I wanna show you, I have squeezed and squished this bottle. Can you see that? I even, it even tore a hole in it because I squeezed it so hard to try to get out my last little bit because I love this stuff. Oh, but it looks like that, if you can see the end of it. But this, this really is some great stuff. Lorac Eyeshadow Primer. No, Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. Really good stuff. Next is my mascara. L'Oreal Voluminous. You see it? Voluminous Lash Paradise. I've said before, I am not going to pay 30 and 40 and more dollars for mascara. Not doing it. I get this at Walmart and it's eight something and it lasts me a pretty decent amount of time. I mean, y'all, I don't have huge eyelashes. Can you see? I just want my eyelashes to be fuller. I don't really care about them being longer. I just want fuller lashes and I want it to look like I have good eyelashes. I don't need them to be a foot long and I don't need them to be like all spread out and all of these things. But this one, Lash Paradise, really just, I like the volume it adds. I like the staying powder. I do not use the waterproof. I can't stand waterproof mascara. I want it to wash off when I when I wash it off. But this is really good stuff. So L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. Mmm. This is fun. I'm having so much fun, y'all. I cannot wait to do this again. Ooh, and I see something in the bottom of the basket that I hated, and I can't wait to get there. But okay, so moving on. Y'all know I love to do my nails. Shellac. I do my own nails at home and I use all C&D shellac products and this is my favorite color of all time. It's called Hollywood. I know my nails are not done. I've been meaning to get to that this week. I have my stuff set out to do it tonight, so we'll see. For some reason, every night when I sit, it's like, okay, let me do my nails and I sit down on the couch and I just fall asleep. Like, it's just not happening. But Hollywood is my absolute all-time favorite shellac color. I've gone through several bottles of this color over the years because the girls and I all love it. And so, yeah, this one was empty. I had to get another. But if you all do your nails at home or are interested in how to do your own gel nails at home, I have the video for you. It's a tutorial. I'll link it right up there. But it shows you how to do your nails step by step and every single thing that you need to do your nails at home. So it's a very interesting video if you wanna do your own nails. And get Hollywood, you will love it. The, the bottle is colored, that's why it doesn't look empty, but it is empty. 
which is sad. Pepsid. Y'all, I said Randy has heartburn. He has heartburn. We go through Pepsid like crazy. And so I buy him the little 50 tab things of Pepsid all the time. It's He lives on this stuff, Pepsid. Ooh, then my Aquaphor. Y'all know, I've said it so many times. I am a chapstick, gotta have something on my lips addict. If my lips are not wet and sticky and slippery, I am unhappy. The other day at work at the ice cream shop, we were super busy and all of my lip gloss that I had on, all of my lip gloss had worn off. My lips were dry and I was about to, to lose it. I was about to go nuts because I could not stop waiting on customers to go all the way into the back, into my purse to get my lip gloss. And it's all I could think about were my lips were dry. It was driving me crazy. I know I'm a little bit obsessive about it, but this is my Aquaphor. I have it all over my house. I swear I have every, a tube in every single room of my house and in my purse. And so one of these got empty at some point, but there it is, Aquaphor. Oh, toothpaste, Crest, white. We love the Radiant Mint. I do, yeah, it is, it's a gel toothpaste. This is just, um, I like the taste of this one. I like the tingling power, the lasting tingling power that it leaves in my mouth. So many other toothpaste, like 20 minutes after I brush my teeth, the, like the, the taste is gone. And this one stays with me for about two hours. It is really good stuff, just the taste. And I love the, I love the consistency of it. I love the way it foams. I just like everything about this toothpaste. And if I brush my teeth, like I don't want to eat anything for about two hours because the, the minty, tingly is still so strong in my mouth. And that's one of the reasons that I love this one. So Radiant Mint from Crest. And this is 3D White Radiant Mint. hand soap. We have a hand soap addiction in our house. This comes from Bath and Body Works. Years ago, Randy got hooked on this eucalyptus mint aromatherapy line at Bath and Body Works. He loves this hand soap. And so we had it all over our house and all the bathrooms. He had one at his sink. I had one at my sink. And Bath and Body Works keeps changing their stinking soap. They only offer it now in like this foamy, like if you, oh, see foam. I liked the soap, soap. But now they've changed the bottle. It only comes in a foam version, but fine. Whatever we gotta do to have this stuff in our bathrooms is fine. Now there's a difference. See how this is eucalyptus and this is aromatherapy. This is the good stuff. I keep it at my sink. We're out, unfortunately. This was the last bottle, but when I went in there, I bought a whole bag of stuff because it was on sale, and I accidentally picked up eucalyptus mint, not aromatherapy. They confused me. This one is, I think it still is a foam, yeah, but it, it, it just has a different smell to it. The mint is not the spearmint and we love the aromatherapy spearmint there is also one um and they were out of it it's in the same aromatherapy line it comes in an orange bottle and it's called orange something and i really really love it so when i go in bath and body works i buy up all of the aromatherapy soap in the eucalyptus spearmint or the orange whatever it is that i love and that's what we have in all of our bathrooms Okay, and we are to the last thing in my basket. This is sad. This is the one thing that I didn't like and I will not buy again. Simple brand cleansing wipes, like for makeup remover. And I used these for a long time because I could not find anything better. And so, you know, you would open these up and there was these wet cloths in here that you wipe your face to get the makeup off. Well, it did a decent job, 
but I did not think they were wet enough. I loved the size of the cloth. I thought it was really great, but it just wasn't wet enough. It was very dry. And so I found myself having to buy additional liquid products to put to, to take the cloth out and then and then use a liquid product to get this little towelette to be wet enough, which was beside the point. That was ridiculous. Because this little package is like five or six dollars, I think, for 25 wipes. That's crazy. These should be sufficiently wet and they are not. Brecken used them too. We both agreed they just were not wet enough. But I used these for a really long time because I could not find anything better. I love the idea of the towelette, but every brand I tried was either the same thing. It wasn't wet, or it didn't get off my makeup, or it had a really bad like fragrance to it that I could not tolerate. And so these were the best of the towelettes. Once I discovered what I'm using now, and it's a new product, I'd never tried it before. I heard a lot of people talking about it, and one of my daughters got it, and I tried it, and I loved it. So I'm now using something different to clean, to, um, to get all of the makeup off of my face before I cleanse my face, and it is awesome. I will no longer go back to these towelettes. But I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you hanging there because I'm gonna do a whole video on a review of that product. And I wanted I've been using the product for a couple months. I used the end of this package at the same time that I started testing this new product. And so I wanted to use it for submit for a sufficient amount of time so that I could do a truly honest review of the product to be able to tell you, did it change my skin? Did it get my makeup off? Were there any negatives? Was there anything I didn't like? And so I've been using it for a couple months now and I really do love it. So stay tuned for that video coming up about, I'm gonna do a skincare routine, the products I use to cleanse my face and to take my makeup off. And I'm gonna explain, it. one little product, one little thing. I'm gonna show that to you in the video. Because, that's my empties. That is what all I have accumulated in this little basket um, in three months, which it looks like a lot of stuff is sitting here. But that was a lot of fun. So now I'm gonna throw all this stuff in the trash and I'm gonna start over. So apparently this will be like once every quarter. I'll do a, a spring empties and a summer empties and a winter empties. So we're gonna call this one my winter empties because really the majority of this stuff came in in the winter and then we'll do it again in a couple months. I had a lot of fun. So thank you to my subscriber Rosie for suggesting that I do an empties video. This was fun. I hope you all got some good information out of the products that I love and the one or two products that I didn't love. I will look up these products on Amazon and if they're available on Amazon, I will put links in the description box below so that you can get them for yourself. So until next time, I'll see you later.